So you two are among the younger cast members in the show. Um, so this this era of 1963 Harlem, it's more foreign than it would be to other cast members. Uh, I know you are actors and you, you, you build these characters, but could you talk a little bit about playing, you know, in this um, world that really doesn't exist today? Miko. Yeah, Miko. Um, <laughs> playing characters in a world that doesn't exist today. Um, there was so much soul and so much revolution going on at that time that was like, it was magic. And I mean, Lucy both spoke about this, just being, we, we almost felt like we were there. We did, we, we did the best we could. I mean, just New York City playing its role in terms of its architecture. And, you know, when we had streets lined up with the kind of, you know, cars from the 60s, it was like walking into a different era. And that's like, you know, respect to the production team there because that really helped us feel like we were there. And I think just speaking to people who were there at that time, some of the older actors that we were working with. And then we had this crazy guy called Professor Smalls who was no joke, who just schooled us on that behavior, who was one of Malcolm X's bodyguards, right? So we learned a lot about that time, which was just incredible for us. Mm. There's, um, you know, so much, uh, I talked to Forrest about um, the music of the era. Did you have any of that playing uh, while you were, were getting into character, anything to, to psych you up for this, uh, this, these roles? Yeah, I'd listen to a little bit of it. Just, you know, it was while we'd be getting ready and stuff, just have it on the background to try and get into the tone of the era. Yeah. I've had that playing since I was two. Nice. Seriously. Yeah. Uh, can you share just very quickly a, a couple of favorites of yours? The Shirelles. Nice. The Shirelles, Jesus, like Mary Wells has got some absolute bangers from that time. I'd have to go back and look at that exact time period so I don't make a stupid mistake because I feel so strongly about music. Oh, that but one was just. 64. Well, see, see, <laughs> there you go. Exactly. Um, I mean, everything at that time was just mind blowing, man. I mean, I wish they still made music like that, which is why I do not listen to the radio anymore. Can't do it.